Hello everyone, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. My name is Kamran and this channel is all about to show you how to become an IT pro really fast. In this video, we are going to talk about how to create a macOS Big Sword lookalike with the XFCE desktop. I am using the Manjaro operating system with the XFCE desktop environment. So without any further ado, let's get started. Most of the people use Linux based distribution due to its customization option. Like you can do any type of customization on your Linux based distribution. For example, you can customize your theme, wallpaper, font, icon, and many things. On the other hand, the Mac is known for its simple and the stylish look. We can create a Mac OS Big Soul lookalike with the XFCE desktop as well. So this is what we will discuss in this video. In order to create a Mac OS Big Soul lookalike with the XFCE desktop, the step number one is to perform the initial settings. All right, so when you are on your desktop, you have to right click here and you have to select desktop settings option. Now you have to go to icons and here in the icons orientation, you have to select top right vertical and click on arrange icons. And now you can see that the icons are arranged here, which is the top right corner. Now you have to close this window and click on your application menu, open up the settings application, go to the appearance, select the fonts tab, and uh, you have to select your font and now you have to decrease its size to 9 or 8 so you have to do it according to your preference so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make it 9 and now you have to click on select now go to all settings and select the window manager so in the window manager you can see that the style tab is active and here we have the button layout in the back os we have our minimize maximize and close button on the left side so the idea is that i'm going to remove the extra buttons from here in order to remove the button you simply have to select it and drag it under the hidden category and similarly you have to select this button and drag it here and now you have to select these buttons one by one and you have to drag it on the left side and this is the maximize button and this is the close button so now all the buttons are on the left side and you can see that the changes are applied on this window too now you have to click on all settings and go to window manager tweak and now you have to click on compositor and you have to uncheck this which is the show shadows under dark windows and after that you have to close this window and the initial settings is performed and now the next step is to install and enable the theme on your xfce desktop so in this step we will install and enable the white sword gtk theme we will install and enable the icon theme we will install and enable the cursors theme as well in order to get the white sword gtk theme you have to open up your browser and you have to go on this link i will also provide this link in the description of this video so you can copy this link from there as well all right so this is the white sword gtk theme it will be applied on my xfce desktop globally all right so you have to scroll down a little bit and then you have to click on files and here you can see that you have the white sword dark theme, white sword uh, dark solid theme, white sword light theme. and you have to download the theme according to your own preference. But here what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna download the white sword light theme. So I'm going to select this theme. So in order to download it, you have to simply click on this button, click on download. Choose the save file option and click on OK. Alright, so it is successfully downloaded in the downloads directory. So let's minimize our browser and go to the downloads directory. Alright, so this is my downloads directory and here you can see that I have the white sword light GTK theme. Right click here and click on extract here. 
and you can see that it is extracted and I have a folder here which is the white sore light. Next we have to create the themes folder. Go to your home directory. In my case it is Linux. Click on view and select show hidden files and now you can see that the hidden files are also displayed here and now we have to create a folder so right click here select the create folder option and create a folder here dot themes and click on create all right so this is my theme folder so the idea is that you simply have to uh, open up this folder and now you have to go to your downloads directory and you have to copy that theme that we have downloaded all right so i'm simply going to copy this folder and i'm going to place it into the themes directory this theme will be automatically detected by the system so now go to your application menu and click on system settings go to appearance and here you can see that we have the white sword light theme it is automatically detected by the system so you simply have to click on the white sword theme and it will be applied on your system all right so now you can see that my window appearance is totally changed so now you have to click on the all settings go to the window manager you can search here by writing window manager this is the window manager application and in the style category you have to select the white sword theme and it will be also applied on your window manager all right so the white sword gtk theme is applied on the system globally now we have to install and enable the icon theme open up your browser again and now you have to visit this link I will also provide this link in the description of this video so you can copy this link from there as well and you can see that it is the white sore icon theme scroll down little bit and click on the files and here you can see that you have the white sore theme for icons it is available in multiple colors like green gray orange pink purple red and yellow but in my case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply download the white sword theme. So click on this button, click on download, select the save file option and click on OK. It is being downloaded and it will be saved in the downloads directory. All right. So now I am in my downloads directory and you can see that it is the white sword theme for icons. So idea is that I'm going to extract this file here. And uh, this is the white sore icon theme. Inside this folder, we have two other folders. One is white sore, and the second is the white sore dark. So I'm just going to copy this white sore folder because I only want to use this folder. But if you want to use the white sore dark theme for icons, then you can also copy this folder as well. Go to your home directory and create a new folder here dot icons. All right, so it is my icons folder. Simply paste this folder here. Open up your application menu and click on the settings application. Go to appearance, select icons tab. And here you can see that we have the white sore icon theme. So simply click here and select it. And now you have to close it. If I open my application menu again and now you can see that the icons are totally changed and they are very stylish and beautiful and the icons on the desktop are also changed and next we have to download the cursor theme so for this you have to open up your browser so you have to go to this link I will also provide this link in the description of this video and on this link we have the Mac Mojave cursor theme so scroll down a little bit and go to the file section and simply download this file click on download select the save file option and click on ok all right so the back mojave cursor theme is successfully downloaded go back to your downloads directory this is my downloads directory and here this is the mac mojave cursor theme extract here simply copy this folder and go to your home directory go to your icons folder that you have created previously and paste this folder here now you have to open up your application menu go to the settings application and select the mouse and touchpad 
Now go to theme and here you can see that you have the Mac Mojave cursors. So you simply have to select it and then you have to close it. So the one thing that you have to notice here that we do not need to create a separate dot mouse folder or something like that for the Mac Mojave cursor theme. All right, so we have successfully installed and enabled the white sword theme for our system for the icons and for the cursor. Now the next step is to configure the panel. For this purpose, we have to enable the AUR or the Arc user repository. So simply click on your application menu and search here for add or remove software. Click here and go to preferences. Enter your password in the given field and click on authenticate. Go to the AUR and you have to enable the AUR support. Keep built-in packages in cache and check for updates. And simply you have to close this window then. And now we need to install some packages. So you have to click on the search icon and you have to search for the Walla hyphen panel. And you have to install the multiple packages in order to configure your panel. So the first package that we need to install is Walla hyphen panel hyphen app menu hyphen common hyphen git. So you have to click on build and then go back. One pending operation is showing here and now you have to search for another package. So simply click on search and write here Walla hyphen panel hyphen app menu xfce and you have to select this package and now go back again and search for wala hyphen panel hyphen app menu reg and you also need to build this package so now you have to click on build so once you have selected these packages then click on apply so these are multiple packages that will be downloaded click on apply all right, so all the packages are downloaded and installed successfully. And now we have to install the Panther Launcher package. So simply click on the search icon and right here, Panther hyphen launcher. This is the Panther Launcher package. Click on build. And now you have to click on apply. So these are the packages that will be installed. So click on apply, enter your password in the given field and click on authenticate. All right, so the Panther launcher is successfully installed. Now let's close this window and configure our panel. So right click on your panel, go to the panel preferences and here you have to create a new panel. So simply click here and you can see that a new panel is created. Simply drag it on the top corner and increase its length. And now you have to lock this panel here. So this is our second panel and the name of this panel is panel one. This panel is locked here. So now we cannot move this panel anywhere. And now let's add some items into this panel. For adding the items, you have to click on the items and now click on add. And here you can see that you have got multiple items. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a launcher here. So I have selected a launcher, click on add. And you can see that the launcher is added here. This is my launcher. Now I want to configure it. Select edit the currently selected item and click on add a new empty item. This is my Panther launcher. So when I will click on it, it will open up the application menu and the command for that is panther underscore launcher. Now let's select an icon for that. Click on icon, select icon from. So here in this category, you have to select all icons and in the search box, you have to write here start here. And you can see that we have the Mac OS icon here or an Apple icon. Simply select it and click on OK. Now you have to click on create. And now if I click here, 
you can see that the launcher is set successfully and I have got all my applications here. And similarly, you can add multiple items if you want to. For adding the items, you simply have to click on add and now let's add a separator. All right, so this is my separator. Double click on it and the style is transparent. And now let's add some other items. For example, I'm gonna add here the date and time information or weather update. So this is the weather update, click on add. It is added here. So I'm gonna separate it with a separator. All right, so here you can see that it is separated and let's make this separator also transparent and close this window. And now let's add the date and time information. So right here, time, this is my clock, add it here. And as you can see that the time is added here. So this is how you can configure your panel. Once you have created the top panel, you can add the items according to your own preference. I have given you a demo that how you can add the multiple items in your panel. After this, you have to click on panel, go to the panel preferences again and you have to remove your lower panel so simply click on this click on remove and the panel is removed successfully and now we only have this top panel so once you have created this panel after that you have to run some commands on the terminal i have saved the commands in my documents directory these are the commands so you simply have to open up your terminal first this is my XFCE terminal. You have to copy these commands and run it one by one. I will also provide these commands in the description of this video. So you can easily copy these commands from there and you can run these commands in the terminal. All right, so this is my second command. I'm gonna paste it here and these commands are for configuring my panel. All right, so we have successfully configured our panel and now let's move on to our next step, which is install and configure the Plank dock. In the Mac OS, you know that we have a dock at the bottom, which have multiple applications. So in this step, we are going to install the Plank dock, which will arrange our applications at the bottom. So simply click on your application launcher and uh, select add or remove software and search here for plank all right so this is plank dock you simply have to select it and then you have to click on install and now click on apply enter your password in the given field and click on authenticate these are the packages that will be downloaded so after seeing the information of these packages you have to click on apply and uh, these packages are now being installed on my Manjaro XFCE. All right, the Plank dock is successfully installed. Now you have to click on this launcher and search here for Plank. All right, so this is the Plank, click on it. You can see that it appears at the bottom and the dock is same as we have in the Mac OS. So now let's configure it. In order to configure it, you have to right click here, click on preferences. If you want to zoom your icons, then you can enable this from here. And now you can see that the zoom in of the icons is enabled. And similarly, you can change the theme of this black dock from here as well. The position is bottom, but it could be top, right or left. You can select it from this list. If you click on docklets, you will find multiple icons of the applications you can include these icons into your dock so for example if you want to include the information of battery then you can select this icon and drag it into your dock and now you can see that the battery icon is the part of our plaque dock if i click on my launcher and i select this application finder now in order to include it in the dock you have to right click here and select the keep in dock and it is now included in my dock so this is how you can install and configure the plaque dock in the xfce desktop environment 
Now let's move on to our next step, which is installing the launcher. For this purpose, you have to click here on your Panther launcher and search here for add or remove software. Click on the search icon and write the synapse here. This is the synapse, which is a launcher. Click on it. And now you have to click on install. Now click on apply. And these are the packages that will be installed, but these are the optional dependencies. So I want to install these dependencies. I have selected these dependencies. Now click on choose. And now you have to enter your password in the given field and click on authenticate. This is the transaction summary and these are the packages that will be installed. So you simply have to click on apply. All right, so the Synapse is successfully installed. Now let's include it into our panel. So right click on your panel, go to panel preferences, go to items and click on add. All right, so this is an other launcher. So I'm going to select a launcher here. It is now added and now you have to select this launcher and you have to edit it. Now you have to click here to add a new empty item. All right, so this is my launcher. So I'm going to write here launcher and for the command, write here synapse and select it. You have to select an icon for that. So click on icon and you have to select here all icons and search for the search icon here. All right, so I'm going to select this icon for that. Now click on OK click on create and close it. So if I click here, I can type anything to search. For example, if I want to open up the settings application, so I just simply have to write here settings. And if I click here, the settings application will be opened. Now our last step is to apply the macOS wallpaper. So you can download the macOS wallpaper from the internet. I have already downloaded it and stored it in the documents directory. So if I go to my documents directory, and here this is the big sore wallpaper right click here and click on set as wallpaper so my wallpaper is selected and now you can see that we have created the mac os big sore lookalike with the xfce desktop it is very eye-catching and very beautiful it is similar to the mac os style i hope you got my point that how to create a mac os big sore lookalike with the xfce desktop environment so if i conclude this video in this video we have performed some initial settings then we have installed and enabled the themes for icon cursor and we have applied the white sword gtk theme globally on our system we have configured the panel we have installed the panther launcher then we have installed and configured the plank dock and then we have installed the launcher and we have applied a wallpaper on our xfce desktop environment so i hope you got my point and that's it for this video if you have really liked this video then give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed this channel then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you want to share some feedback about this video then please let us know about your feedback in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video